When it comes to pushing predicates in views, we have a lot more options at our disposal nowadays. Back in the day, if you had a view and you wanted to push a predicate into it, your two options were you got down your knees and you prayed a bit because you were hoping the optimizer would be smart enough to push a predicate in. And the optimizer obviously has rules in terms of what it could do. The way we overcame that obstacle was typically with a context. You've probably seen the syscontext function. You can use syscontext to build your own custom context variables. Think of it as a list of key value pairs in the sense that for a given key, you can nominate a value. And then inside your view definition, you can have where column, etc. equals syscontext function to extract that value. Your query to the view then becomes a two-step process. Step one is set the value of the context variable and then query the view. And obviously for things like ad hoc query tools, that's sometimes not possible because you don't get access to set those variables before that. But from Oracle 19 onwards, what's probably even easier is SQL macros. SQL macros is probably the easiest way at the moment to pass a parameter into a, uh, into a view or in, effectively into a SQL statement that you define um, on the fly. Anytime when the optimizer can't push a predicate in, the easiest way in my view would probably be to grab that view and define it as a SQL macro because they literally take parameters, there's typical PLSQL functions, and you can simply reference them inside the dynamic SQL you build. So if you go to live SQL um, and search for SQL macro, you'll see plenty of examples where, yeah, parameterized views are literally almost a core component of the SQL macro function. 